How's it going? My name is Brent from Encore PPF Intent, and today we are gonna be do, doing some window tinting on a Toyota Camry. This is an SE, and it is a 2024. We're gonna start with the back window, and then we'll tint the windows down this side, and then down this side. And we'll probably skip uh, this other side, because it really just makes sense to have you guys watch one half of it. Uh, both sides might be, well, we might re record both sides. We'll just see how things go. Um, this back window is a little bit interesting, not all that much more interesting than a lot of windows, but it does have a kind of an interesting curve right here at the end, which is interesting for squeegeeing because it does require, you know, a little bit of a different pressure than most windows or just a alignment of the squeegee. Um, also, like a lot of back windows now, we do have the third brake light that's in the rear deck built in can't take it out so we do have to work around that which is pretty common these days um, also uh, the seats have headrests built in that do not come out or go down they're just they're built in so we need to push those seats down and work with the seats down is what I do on this vehicle but anyway let's go ahead and get started on this and tint these windows <laughs> All right, so first things, we're gonna go ahead and clean this back window, or wipe it down. So we'll just wet that window down, make sure we don't have any metal edges or anything sticking out of our pouch so that just in case we happen to bump the car a little bit, we're not scratching it. We'll go ahead and wipe this vehicle or the window down. Okay. And this basically is just to get all the dirt off the rear window. And then we'll go ahead and put a bounce pad on this to make sure that we don't have any, so the film isn't sticking to the glass once we set it on here for heat shrinking. Okay. Great. All right, so for the bounce pad, I'm gonna go ahead and use rubbing alcohol with the bounce pad and that's just to get it to dry up real quickly. So we're not sitting here waiting for this to finish drying. Yeah, that was really fast. <laughs> it's most important around, uh, you know, on the top and bottom far as the bounce pad goes. Okay, great. I'd really only use the rubbing alcohol when it's a little bit chillier. As soon as it starts to warm up and that back window gets a little bit of time in the sun, it dries so quickly with just using the regular uh, soapy water mixture. We need that to be completely dry before we lay the film on there. Let's see. Yeah, we're just gonna I'll just skip ahead. All right, so in order to get this on here, what I like to do is, oop, I'm gonna go ahead and miss the edges. And then we'll go ahead and transfer this onto the glass. I want it to bend right here in the middle. And then we'll go ahead and set this corner, oop, 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 where are you going? This corner on, and then kind of line it up going up the side, and that should get us pretty lined up across the bottom. Just like that. And then we'll go ahead and do our H pattern. Okay, and then we'll push this side down with our finger first. <laughs> if you try to just push that up with a with one of these squeegees, you're gonna be creasing that from time to time. <laughs> you're starting over. Okay, I actually just did that the other day. The corner or edge popped up a little bit and I was like, eh, that's fine. Boom, right over it, creased it. <laughs> Throw that piece of film in the garbage. All right, so we lifted the film up a little bit, pulled it with a little bit of tension, and then laid down like this. And that's our H pattern. All right, so let's go ahead and give, help dry off some of this 
water that's left on here. Great. Let's get to heat shrinking. All right, I've got the heat gun turned all the way up and I've got my Harbor Freight glove on, which is actually a right-handed glove, but we make sure to use them all. So I use the right and left ones on my left hand so that we don't waste any. And we're just gonna work our way down. So I start usually closest to me and we'll go down a few inches. Well, a couple to a few anyway. And we'll shrink this down. See how that becomes nice and tight there? The top's usually gonna have some kind of finger on it like that. But what you'll notice is the fingers, instead of going this way, which they are now, they start to go this direction. And that normally tells you you're, you're, uh, you've got enough shrink going there. Okay. Finish working our way down to the bottom. This is a pretty straightforward window to heat shrink, not too bad at all. And then we're gonna go ahead and tighten up this bottom edge. And what I'm looking for is anything to pop up like that. And then I'm gonna put some more heat on it. If it does pop up and watch it kind of uh, tighten up and then push it out. Yeah, there's like nothing up here almost <laughs> as far as heat shrinking goes. Should be blowing through this pretty quickly. Now, if only Toyota had made the inside as easy to work with as the heat shrinking, <laughs> then this car would be a, a real piece of cake. And don't get me wrong, it's not that uh, bad in there, but you know, it does present some obstacles to work around. Okay, that looks really good. All right, so as soon as we start to get, I, I don't know exactly how to explain this, but when I was coming down here, we're starting to get like, mm, I'm gonna need to pay attention to this more and uh, kind of try to explain to you what I'm noticing here because I couldn't just shrink that all the way down because it was starting to get, I don't know what it's starting to get, but I will continue to pay attention to that and then try to find a way to explain what I saw there and why I stopped just shrinking that. I was coming down and then I stopped and I pushed some stuff out and then I continued to shrink it down. And in my mind, there was definitely a reason for that because I saw the film doing something that I knew was gonna be an issue. You know, the problem is at some point you just become so used to doing this that you don't even think about what you're doing anymore. And so I really need to start paying attention to what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. And then I'll be able to explain that better So these sides are where it's gonna be most difficult usually when it comes to heat shrinking because they're just gonna be the most finger normally, especially on this vehicle. All right, here we go. All right, now let's tighten up this edge. And the, the advantage to using this process where you tighten up this edge at the end is that then we're not gonna to have to worry so much about fingers popping up from the bottom top and bottom you know which you can get those little fingers and those are a headache once you get this film on the inside because it's really hard to get down there especially on the bottom uh, and it's just extra time right if we can fix that by uh putting doing the tightening up the bottom process then we don't have to worry about uh, having that issue when we get to the inside and it just saves on time All right, and then now we'll put some water on the board here. And this is just straight water. And we keep a keg of this next to the 
glass here at all times because uh, the when you use the more soapy water you use the more streaks you're going to get down the wall and so it's just really nice to use the water as much as possible to help just minimize that see like all this stuff down in here is really from the soap and water okay so we got this up here and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to weed this edge Perfect. Make sure your edges are stuck down so this film doesn't roll off the glass. Okay, and for the video's sake, we're gonna go ahead and clean off this bounce pad that's on here. If I was doing this vehicle and it we weren't recording it, I wouldn't be cleaning the bounce pad off yet. I would wait until I got the install almost, I mean, basically done. Because otherwise, if you make some kind of mistake while you're installing this, you're just gonna have to put the bounce pad back on there again. So it's best just, I found for me anyway, it's best just to leave it until I get the install done. And then I can clean it to inspect the outside to make sure that, you know, I didn't get any big contamination or anything in it. But um, that's gonna be a bigger deal really when you're like newer to window tinting. I mean, at this point in my career, <laughs> I'm pretty much, almost all of the windows go really well now. So I don't have to worry so much about, you know, running into problems where I'm gonna have to re-shrink the back window. But if it does happen, it's nice to already have that bounce pad on there and you're not completely starting over from scratch. But we wanna make sure we can get a good view inside with the camera, so we cleaned it off. All right, so let's go ahead and get all our tools in there. And let's see. Let's also do a couple other things first here. Let's get the trunk open. Oh, here we go. Okay, and we'll get the seats folded down here. Looks like we're going to move that seat over there forward on the front seat. Perfect. Put that up there. Get this down. Great. Let's go ahead and grab our tools. So these five tools I take in with me for every back window I do. Let's go ahead and re uh, reverse roll this right now. So I'm gonna pull this liner back and we're just gonna, we're gonna spray down the adhesive with the slip solution. And I come back about three quarters of the way, lay it back down, and then I'll normally spray off where I touch the liner with my fingers just to make sure I don't get any um, contamination in between the film and the uh, release liner. You also want to make sure when you're spraying this down that you don't get a ton of water up here unless you're cleaning your peel boards every single morning or, you know, routinely, really routinely. Um, anyway, I still don't like the idea of it. So what I do is when I'm spraying this down, I make sure not to get too much water up here that then is going to potentially grab contamination and run down. It's just something to keep in mind. All right, and then let's go ahead. So on this part at the end, I will put a spray on this side so that we can roll this up. We need to full, curl it around and the less kinking little crinkling sounds you hear the better because those are going to cause little marks in the film that you're then going to have to take care of once the film goes on the inside. Unless, you know, unless they're really minor or you don't get many of them, then it's not such a big deal. But those are things can leave little tiny white, tiny little white lines that you'll have to put some heat on and push down. So little crinkling sounds as possible is better. OK, 
Okay, and then we just want to keep this roll nice and tight so it's not getting all fat. You'll see, when if you're new to this and you're trying to do this, this is going to take a while to get used to, but the roll will start to get real fat. Just practice, roll it back out, wet it back down, roll it back up, and you'll, you know, you'll start to get the hang of it. Like, that's real easy how I was doing that, where I was just rolling it. Uh, that's basically how it goes for me now. <laughs> it's not going to go that way right out the gate, though. <laughs> okay. So I normally will kind of, well, we kind of put this thing in the way. So let's move that. And then I normally set these like right there. And that tends to hold them pretty good without letting them, un, you know, curl and unroll. <clears throat> All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and stick our feet in the trunk here. <laughs> so it's kind of, this is the angle I'm gonna be at, which is a little awkward compared to how I usually do back windows because I'm usually kneeling on the rear seat, but you know, it's what it is, right? Okay, so we went ahead and uh, wet down the window here. And now we're gonna go ahead and scrubby pad the whole thing. So this tool is great for getting down there, getting the scrubby pad onto the glass all the way down. And so I just use it on the whole thing now. Okay, get the other side. So I'm putting a lot of pressure with on it. You can see it bending, you know, bowing there. Because we really want to get that, anything that's on that glass broken loose. All right, great. Just making sure I got the edges and stuff really good. Okay, fantastic. Now let's go ahead and squeegee this window clean and get this tint on here. So what I'm gonna do is squeegee down like that on this side, and that's how I'm gonna hold the squeegee and squeegee down that side. All right, so I was just trying to make sure we get a good angle on the camera here that we can kind of see what I'm doing, or you can see what I'm doing. I can see what I'm doing great. <laughs> All right, so I re-wet that down and we're gonna go ahead and hold the squeegee like this this is how I hold the squeegee for this swipe. And we're gonna swipe down. And you can see I'm really cramming that squeegee back in there and I'm getting some really good, look at that squeegee. That went, you know, that's a great uh, pressure. And I'm not getting the whole squeegee on there because this has got that contour to it at the end. So it is kind of a funky uh, squeegee uh, technique, or not technique, they all pretty much, anyway, I'm talking too much. Let's go ahead and continue here. <laughs> Uh, so then I'm going to turn the squeegee like this in my hand and we're going to go across the top like that. Now I'm going to flip the squeegee over like this. I'm holding it like this now and do that. You, that's how you want to hold the squeegee. <laughs> or you can fi figure it out on your own. But I've been doing this for uh, a very long time. Oop, I got a little low there. See, I got a little low because I'm talking and not paying attention. All right, so every time the squeegee comes off the glass, you wanna make sure and, and wipe it off. And so it's, oh, look at that. We're, we've got a little water running down, so we'll go ahead and squeegee that down again. So we wanna get that side cleaned off and then we're gonna take everything this direction. Jeez, that's a lot of text messages. How's that even possible? Wow. Okay, now when we get down to that point, I can no longer hold the squeegee like that and I need to wipe my hand off because what's going to happen now is I'm going to turn the squeegee like this and this part of my hand is going to be running along the glass as well. All right, so let's go across. I do lick the squeegee every time I put it back up there when I'm doing it like this. Um, <laughs> you guys decide how you want to do that. I don't know, people might not like that, but it gets the squeegee gliding really well right from the beginning, where otherwise it's going to be real sticky. So that's just a habit. That's how I do it. And now, see how we got pretty a really good squeegee all the way off the glass, but we do need to make sure that that is pushed all the way over there. So most of the time what I would do if there was a lot of water there still would be to go down just like we did on the other side at the end. Um, but that's looking really good. So I was able to kind of just do a little squeegee 
upward like that. Now let's take care of this bottom. Okay, so let's prepare this squeegee here to kind of get that bottom. Something like that, looked really good. Let's see if we can get this last one. Sometimes you can't get all the way down in the middle. We'll just kind of see how that goes. You want to keep this off of the rear deck. Now, I'm just going to do as much as I can with that there. You're not always going to be able to get the whole thing. I see a little piece of hair right here sticking off of this. It's coming off the light, sitting like on top of it. There it is. Just going to get that out of the way. So when we put that mist on there, we don't accidentally hit that and splash it up onto the glass. All right, so I'm going to put this to a little bit more of a stream. We're going to go down this and then go across here and blow the rest of that bottom down. Now you do want to put as little water in there as possible because the more water you put in there, the more likely you're going to get water in the trunk. All right, so we've got that all misted down now. Let's go ahead and get the piece of tint. Okay, now we're gonna unroll this onto the glass. Let me show you how we do this. So I've got my finger on it right there, holding the film and I'm unrolling it a bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start to just kind of stick this to the glass a little bit just with my hand back down there. And then I'm gonna come past the um, the third brake light and then we're gonna try just pushing this down and getting it basically all the way to the bottom. And then I can push this part up a bit and that will hold that in place. And then now we're gonna leave a bunch of extra material here and we're gonna finish unrolling this all the way across. Just like that. Let's see, I normally like to get rid of the liner now, although it's gonna be really hard with this um, bunched up excess right here. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this liner to pull out from this side. Okay, that's going really well. Okay, you wanna be really careful on this bottom when you're pulling that liner out, that you don't flip that bottom over because obviously if it's laying on there like this and it flips over, you're just gonna rub the rear deck with the adhesive side and that'll pick up all kinds of debris. Okay, so I just positioned it into place. And then now what I'm gonna do is get the liner off this side because it's easier to get some good um, traction on the film without the liner on it. And we're gonna get rid of that excess in the middle. So I basically just went in there and went left to right to get rid of this excess here. And then we need to make sure that we're all the way on the glass. Let's go ahead and remove this liner now. And then we need to go down a little because I can see some light down there. So I'm using my whole palm on there to adjust the material. You don't want to just use your fingertips or anything just in one little spot. Because if you get some rougher defroster lines, like thicker or a little bit jagged, um, you can leave marks in the adhesive where your fingers touch. You actually damage the adhesive. So I like to use my whole palm in there. Oh, it's so small in here. Okay, so we've got the film on here now and we're gonna go ahead and try to get out, you know, break up these air pockets and get a bunch of them out. And I'm just putting my whole arm on the glass and pushing out some of these bigger air pockets. Great. Then we'll go, go ahead and squeegee this out. You always want to go with the defroster lines. This is just our first pass. We'll be doing two passes. So the first one is it's just a little bit lighter. So we're just trying to get the bulk of everything out of here. Okay, this one I'll start kind of lower to the bottom and work my way up. Uh, really take your time in this process if you're new because you, you want to really learn how, how the film maneuvers um, with this. Don't go as fast like I'm going. 
because things can go horribly wrong. You can crease the film really easily. It's just that I've been doing this longer than you've probably been alive. <laughs> All right, so we're getting the bottom down now. So I'm just going down behind the third brake light, putting some pressure onto the squeegee here and pushing this bottom down. So I'm going almost all the way down, going across, and we basically just continue to go in, or you know, behind the third brake light, over, behind the third brake light, and over, and each time we're dropping down a little bit. Okay, great, got all that pushed out. So now, let's get our second pass on here. Now this one you wanna be just using, you know, all your strength on this. And you can see that I'm basically using about half of the squeegee is squeegeeing down new stuff and the other half is going over the stuff I already squeegeed. Okay, and then we'll go down now. You can see my angle on the squeegee there. When I'm going that way, it's more angled this way. And when I'm going this way, it's more angled this way. Now it's not a whole bunch, but it is there. And that just directs the water away from the area that's already been squeegeed. So when I get close to the edge, I turn it back straight again. All right, interestingly enough, this film, for whatever reason, it must be, it must be a little low, but we're actually, it's continually popping back up. I don't know if you can see that, but we do have the material is not stuck to the glass right there, so we'll have to take care of that once we get out on the outside. Okay, now let's go ahead and take care of this area. So I'm just doing behind the third brake light right now. We're gonna go this way for this side now. Okay, great. And then now let's take care of this area that isn't behind the third brake light. So when I'm doing this area here, I'm going down, I'm keeping the tool at an angle and going across like this. And I'm pushing down with this hand to get all that pressure onto that tip there. Like that. All right, and then we're just working our way down all the way to the bottom there. And then this side will do the same thing. Notice the angle of the, it's called a bulldozer. Notice that that's a little bit, you know, it's always uh, angled like this. And Well, what am I trying to say here? Sorry. It has that angle to it, the same as this side, but obviously opposite. <laughs> Great. Okay. So now I'm gonna wipe everything down. Start by drying the rear deck off a little. That'll even be more important when you're working on cars where this isn't a fabric and it's just plastic. You wanna get all the water out of there. Okay, and I do, we have to do, be really careful of this area because that is popping up. That's something I haven't had happen before. I'm guessing it's because I'm like just barely past the dots here. And if I had left it up higher, it probably wouldn't have done that because this side isn't doing it and I've never had it happen before. <laughs> While I'm looking at this, I can see there's a couple little things coming off this defroster line here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a lot of pressure in that area with a Bondo card and squeegee all that out. Let's see if that stays stuck down now. And I wanted to go over this part to see if that'll stay down. Nope, not quite yet. Okay. Let's finish drying off this interior. Okay, so I went across the bottom and then we're gonna go ahead and dry off the rest of this window here. I do have a little piece of contamination right here underneath the film. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this back and get that out right now. Cause it does look like, yeah, it looks like it's white. Let's 
probably came from the headliner or something. So I'm just rubbing it with my fingernail. Now the important thing here, hang on. I've got my finger behind, behind it, putting pressure this direction so that I can get some decent pressure on it. And then we're gonna go ahead and blow it out. Now it's important that when you pull this back that you get everything wet in there. Otherwise, it's going to, you're going to get air pockets that are going to get trapped in there. So it needs to be re-wet down like that really well. Okay, then let's go ahead and squeegee this back out. Perfect, that's gone. Okay, great. Let's finish this, dry this back off again. Something I flipped over to a little bit drier part of the towel so I can dry this off again and hopefully not leave a bunch of streaks. There, that's drying much faster. Perfect. Okay, go ahead and hop out of here. Okay, and there's that area that isn't staying stuck down. Hopefully, that at one of those angles shows up really well in the camera. So we'll go ahead and reach in, push this back down and see if that stays down now. It looks like it's staying down. So I'll recheck that here in a moment. Okay, and then I do have a little thing. Hopefully you can see that right here. Right there, on, right off the defroster line. That's the thing I could see from the inside. Great, everything else is looking really good. Just wanna inspect everything, but a lot on these edges. Okay, I left a little bit of air here when I was pushing this back out. So let's go ahead and put a little more pressure on that and push it out. Great. Okay, terrific. This looks really good. I just have to touch up, put a little bit of heat on that one spot. Other than that, this came out great. Yep, okay, just right there. Let's do that now. All right, so I gave that a seven count. And we're gonna go ahead and try and push this out now. Okay. Good, it's got a little bit of heat on it, decent heat, and we pushed it out. Go over it one more time. That looks really good. So I will just double check that again, glancingly, later on. And just for good measure, I'm gonna throw in just a little bit of heat here on the top, since I'm already right here, and we'll make sure that this doesn't pop back up again. Okay, that looks really good. All right, let's go ahead and get some tin installed on this door here. And first I'm gonna go ahead and grab my tools out of here. Pick up after ourselves.
Okay, I'm gonna wipe this off. I left a little bit of white on there. I'm going to put this back all up into place. Okay. Great. All right, let's get our gasket wizard in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my fingers in here and pull back on the door panel a little bit and that'll help this drop in even easier. Although with Toyotas, it's pretty easy anyway, so. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and trim this rubber out a little bit. Start way up there, just around the bend. Come on down with that. It's just a very minor amount. I'm gonna pull that out. I mean, look how thin that is. So, you know, let me know in the comments if you guys do this with your, with your wing windows, as far as if you do trim out the rubber just a tiny bit at least on the back side there. Okay. Go ahead and get a mist on there. And then we'll take our scrub pad and really get it way up in there. Get this whole window scrubbed. Okay, great. I'm gonna take, let's see, some tool. Let's see, I'll just use this tool here. Make sure that the all of the rubber is broken loose from the glass. That way we, we can slide it in if necessary. Okay, let's go ahead and clean this now and get this piece of film on here. So I'm tucking it way back in there. And actually, let's get a better shot of just that window. Okay, let's go ahead and do that again. So I'm gonna tuck it way in there. Squeegee around. I mean, I'm putting a lot of pressure for it to go that way back in there. And then we're going to go ahead and take these over to the side. Flip the squeegee over now. Come the rest of the way down. And then we're going to go ahead and squeegee up there and bring that down to this side. And I also want to squeegee this bottom one more time, like that, down underneath the rubber there. And we'll go ahead and spray out that little corner we weren't able to get real clean. And we'll get a mist on here. You just want to mist because you don't want to spray too much water up in there and have it start running down with dirt. Okay, let's get our pattern. So I'm just using my fingernail to hold this film. Then we'll go ahead and grab this part here. And I, see how I keep it bowed like that? And that's to keep the bottom part off the door panel. And we'll let that go up in. We want it to be curved going in that way and not flipped over the other direction. Set that in place and now we'll go that direction like that. Okay, and we're gonna need to go up just a tiny bit more. And so what I'm doing here is actually kind of pushing out on the glass a bit to try and get that to go underneath the rubber Let's get this part to lay down flat. And then we can go ahead and get this bottom to go in. And then we're gonna take the film just a tiny bit that way and make sure we have no light gap here. Now for this part, I'm gonna go ahead and put the um, tool back in here, past the edge, lift the rubber back, and then we can go ahead and uh, that'll fall into place. Now let's go ahead and squeegee this out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is stick my finger on here and put some good pressure with my thumb. And I'm also using this support, you know, the door here to give me some support so my thumb just isn't sliding around. Kind of help lock it into place. And then we're gonna go over the Toyota emblem first. And what that's gonna do is help that, it's really gonna get stuck on that lettering. And then we're gonna be able to squeegee the rest of this out easier without it slipping around. Okay, so the first passes are gonna be fairly light. And now that we've got that on there, we're gonna be able to put a, quite a bit more pressure on there. See, and I actually did turn it just a little bit. So that was a little bit too much pressure. We're still adjusting our um, slip solution, trying to get the correct amount of soap in there. 
Yeah, that is pretty slippery. Okay, so I'm gonna have to be a little bit more careful about that. So let's get some more a slip on the outside there. Okay, and then I'm gonna hold this in place since it is moving around a bit with my finger or my thumb up there. Okay, now that we've got that completely squeegeed out, we'll go ahead and use a tool like this and get way back in there behind the rubber on the edge and squeegee everything out. All right, so I'm gonna get that behind the rubber there and go up and around that edge and down. This is getting those edges really dried out. Terrific. Oh, let's get the key turned on in the car, huh? Looks like somebody's dropping something off. Yeah. All right, so now's a good time to come out here and inspect everything and make sure that you don't have anything in there that you're not going to be able to live with. As far as um, we're just checking for major contamination and hairs and things like that that we're not going to be able to work with because otherwise we're going to take this right back off. So that's looking good. It's totally, you know, that's going to work out. And then let's work on this roll up now. All right, so we'll start with scrubbing this window. Oh, turn the key on, but they must have the child lock on. Yep. Okay. Get a mist along the top. We'll go ahead and scrub this top edge really well. And you can see how far that's going back in there. And you wanna make sure and get all the way back in there when you're cleaning this. You wanna break all the dirt loose. Okay, now let's go ahead and roll this up and then we can take care of this bottom. Okay, now that we've got that part done, we'll go ahead and run the towel down these edges. And you can see, I mean, brand new car, and yeah, I still got all that out of there. So that will really help you from getting contamination on the edge. So just stuffing it way back there. <laughs> Okay, that side looks quite a bit better, but I'm sure we did get a few things on there. All right, we're going to re-wet that back down. So basically when um, I'm trying to position this for the install, and so up here, hopefully you can see up there, you know, you'd see that this starts to round here at the top. So we don't want it too high because we do want to be able to get to that edge really well. So I always make sure that I've got access to that. So you don't want to be too high that you can't get a squeegee in there and that you can't get some mist in there from the soapy water and stuff like that. But I do try to get up as high as I possibly can. Now, before we get to cleaning this too much further, we need to go ahead and um, pre-shrink these over on the board here. All right, so there is a video on the channel that goes over exactly how to do this. So we're just gonna be, you know, work through this really quickly. Got to dry out all of the moisture underneath the film and on top of it right there. Let's get our heat gun. Oops. Oh, look at that. What we got going on here? It's like I'm spinning in circles or something, huh? There we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and shrink this edge. This will just keep us from, ha you know, this just saves us from having fingers on the inside coming up from the bottom, which means we don't have to do any heat shrinking on the inside. So 
So I basically pull this up until I get to about an inch or so, or inch or two to the end there. Cause you don't want that side to pop up while you're doing this. Otherwise it makes it more difficult to do this shrinking process. And then I come across the bottom with the heat. Just looking for it to curl just a little bit and get tight at the bottom. And then there we go. All right, so I'll remist this down. Let's get our squeegee and our towel. And then we're gonna start by going down. And this is how I'm holding the squeegee for the down. It's basically like the same as on the back window. And then we're gonna take the rest of these over. And I'm using my, I'm pushing the, the, the top of the windows like right about here on the squeegee. So we're going over the top. And then I'm using my uh, pointer finger here is going to run along the uh, metal here. And that gets me, you know, it keeps me working straight across real easily. So I make sure to stay over that edge. And then I turn the squeegee around like this. And we're gonna take all this stuff over to the side. Every time the squeegee comes off the glass, you need to make sure and wipe it off because we don't want to reapply any of that contamination that we got off back onto the glass. Okay, and we'll go over and down on that side. Great. And then we will go ahead and find a dry part of the towel and we'll wipe off this top edge. Not too bad. We're gonna go ahead and spray that side down, come across, and then a little bit down that side, and then we'll go ahead and put a mist on this. This one here. Bring it down three quarters of the way or so. Mist it down, and then we'll go ahead, I just using my fingernail again to hold this top edge of the film. And then down here, I'm just gonna hold on to the liner here and let that fold over like that. And we're gonna get this top corner in first. So I'm gonna put it on the glass like that. We're gonna make sure that that's nice and flat on the glass and I'm gonna tuck that top in. You see, I still have a little bit of an angle going there. And we're gonna bring this across, set that in place. You see, I've got all the extra material right here. See how it does this angle like this? Now we're gonna go ahead and flatten that out by putting pressure to the sides. And then we're gonna line this top edge up. That looks amazing. Okay, that's great. And you do want the film to be kinked like this. You don't want the film to be kinked in the opposite where uh, it's, okay, let's just show you. You don't want it like that. You don't want the kink to be like that because now you're running on the edge of this and that's just gonna cause problems. You're gonna get a little kink right there and you're gonna have to put heat on that. So we want it to be more like that. And this is a pretty serious kink there. Might have to touch that up with a little bit of heat, but it's gonna be just fine. Now it's important to make sure you're looking really good along the top edge here, as well as that you have coverage from left to right. Oh my gosh. I never turned this back around. Genius. Okay, so you can see here that we've got that nice angle like this on this side, but it's not so much here. We've got a, basically a little kink right there. That's gonna be okay, but it's probably gonna need a little bit of heat to get touched up. So not the best, but just, you know, it's fine. Now we just wanna make sure you've got coverage from left to right, because you don't wanna see the edge of the film. So let's miss that down, and then we'll go ahead and squeegee this out. I'm gonna go ahead and hold this in place. So I've got my thumb here, I've got, I'm touching the very top of the window, I'm touching the top of the film, and I've also on this uh, support pillar here to, and all that locks my thumb into place so the thumb can't move. And now I'm gonna be able to tell if the film moves at all. And I'm putting a lot of pressure on it to hold the film in place. But the purpose of this is to do two things. One, hold the film in place. And two, I can feel it if the film moves. And then we're gonna go ahead and squeegee out, you know, the top inch or so there. Top inch to half an inch. 
now we're doing basically the first inch or so and then we're just a little bit doing a little bit more each time um, I, I do like this these handles the only problem with them is that you know because these windows normally have a little bit of curve like this it leaves a gap right there so you really have to push in on them which is a little bit of a you know a pain on some windows but um, anyway I do like them all overall Okay, so we go over and normally I'll try to leave like the last inch there, not squeegee it out. Let's go ahead and get our white card. Let's get ourselves a new edge on it. Okay, and then we're gonna take this stuff up. And then... All right, I'm gonna put another little bit of mist on there. And now that we've got a new battery in the GoPro, let's try to kind of explain what I was doing here. So you don't wanna push all the water all the way to the side because then it's gonna go over here and it's gonna flush any dirt that's in there down. And then in this situation, it's gonna go over, flush dirt down and come back into this area right here. So if you finally are getting a lot of dirt on this line here, one, you're not doing a good enough job cleaning it back in there. And then two, Try not to push the water over all the way. Instead, we, we take it over to the last inch and then we take it up. And that'll also help with that problem with the contamination right there. Okay, so we've got this portion squeegeed out really well. Let's go ahead and roll the window up. I'm gonna put a little pressure on, on it outwards with my thumb so it doesn't catch that top edge as it's going up. Now that it's up, we're gonna go ahead and kind of spray out this bottom that we weren't able to get with the squeegee when it was rolled down a little. Remove the release liner. Now we're gonna go ahead and tuck in this side over here first. So I grabbed it over here with my finger and I'm tugging on it a little bit that way. And you see how now we've got that pulled out like it should have been, or what would have been perfect, right? It would have been perfect if it was like that already, but it wasn't. Um, so we got that pulled out, so we've got that kind of angle going. And then this side here is able to lay down nice and flat on the glass. And then what we're gonna do is pull back on this, and we're just gonna slide that in like that. And then we're gonna push this stuff down and then bring this across. And as you can see, it just kind of starts to lay in there. Now when we get over here, I'm gonna grab on with the, onto the material with my finger there, pull it this way and get that to line up nice and flat and then just tuck that in. That way you get minimal kinks on those edges and it, it just, it makes it go in really easily. Now we're gonna go ahead and take this tool here I'm not using a ton of pressure with this. This is just to get out the bulk of everything and make sure that the, everything goes down. And then we're gonna come back and get it with the Blue Max here. Start all the way up at the top and come down. You can see I've got, you know, I'm leaving like streaks, which isn't great for pressure anyway to get all the water out. I need to put a new edge on this or put a new one in it. There, that's going better. Okay, so basically just went over. I went over like about, you know, a couple inches every time. Get that all squeegeed out. Let's get our white card back here and then let's go ahead and squeegee the sides out way back in there. So it's a lot of pressure. If you can see there, what, I, what I'm doing is I'm putting the card in there, twisting it like this and then going down with it. That way you get a ton of pressure on that edge. Go across the bottom and then we'll come over. Now you can see this card looks like this. And I'm gonna put it in here and do the same thing down this side. Go across the bottom. Now look, it's kind of turned the opposite way or it's at least flattened back out. It is turned a little bit the other way a little. <laughs> Anyway, I'm just trying to show you that you put a lot of pressure on that because you really want to get those edges dried out. Okay, we'll pull out this tool. I'll dry it off and I'm going to set it into the front seat and then let's get this panel dried off. I want to make sure and get all the water off so you don't leave any streaks. 
Okay, great. And sometimes I use the covers. We'll use the cover on the front one. Okay, go across this, try it all off. Okay, let's go ahead and check our work on the outside. Let's see what you're looking at. Okay, good. So as I said, we're gonna get kink there, and we did. So we've got one there. I'm gonna let that dry now, and then we'll come back to that and push it out. Because just if you just move on, that's gonna start to dry. And so it'll push down much easier, potentially without heat, but we're probably gonna need heat on that one. I've got a tiny little thing there. And basically what we're doing is just inspecting our work to make sure that everything's gonna be able to push out and we don't need to pull it off and start over. Everything looks great. We'll go ahead and move on to the next window. We can also take one of these cards here and try pushing this out a little bit. That'll help just, we'll get some great pressure on it right there and make sure that we're getting all the water out of that area so it starts to dry. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's see, where's that? Recording this video is making this car take so long. <laughs> Normally, I should basically be done with this car by now. Uh, but it is what it is, right? It's, it's all for the channel. <laughs> Hopefully you're finding it helpful. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. All right, so let's go ahead and scrubby pad this top edge. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit more so I can get to this corner here. Okay, take it back up so we can get this side. Then we'll get a little bit lower here. Now we'll go ahead and roll it up and then we'll squeegee or, you know, clean the rest of this. So way back in there, all the way over. Great. Let's get our gasket wizard in here. Awesome. Okay, so again, we're watching that edge to make sure that we can get to it, but we want it up as high as we can get it without blocking that complete that corner completely off. And we'll go ahead and squeegee this side down like that. And then we'll come across. Still, I was pretty close, like right here. See, I'm like right there. So when I start this squeegee, I don't really want to touch this area. So what I did there was kind of just go up like that and grab and bring that out a little bit further. So now I can just start coming across. Turn it down a little bit to help push that water down at the end. Okay. And now we'll go ahead and push this side down like that. Go ahead and do a spray down there across the bottom, a little bit down the side. Mist, let's get our pattern. And we're gonna put this side up and I'm gonna get this to lay down nice and flat. See how I've got that nice and flat there? And then we're gonna push that over and into place. And now I pulled on this side over here just a little bit, and that was to get me that angle over here on the bottom so it's not kinking up in there. Okay, let's come across and we'll try to kind of just line this up a little bit as we're coming across. Let's get this part tucked in. And then let's get this um, from side to side so we get all the excess out of the middle. Give it a little pull from side to side there. Now this front, I'm definitely gonna kink this up a little bit. It's gonna be fine though. I mean, totally manageable. But this side, look how good that one's looking. All right, so again, I'm gonna hold this in place, squeegee out this top edge. I did get it to move a little bit, so I'm actually gonna come out here and try to get some more of this bulk out. I'm putting good pressure on it. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and get this to line up. Soap is still a little bit too soapy. Okay, 
Let's get a little bit more slip on here so we don't get stuck with the squeegee on the glass. We want it to slide real good on there. Okay, let's see here. We are got some good movement. There's just too much soap in this. We've got a, we're trying to figure out this new soap and I did have a guy reach out to me and tell me what his mixtures were and it's just a little bit too much for me, although it's gotten me way closer to what it needs to be. Before it was just way too tacky. So I'm, I'm very, I'm grateful, super grateful that he did that because it, um, it's gotten us much closer to where we need to be. Okay, so I'm just squeegeeing all this out here. And continuously checking this top edge because it is moving around a little. Now let's go ahead and squeegee some of this out now. Just being fairly gentle and watching that top edge to make sure that this stuff isn't moving around. Okay. And let's go ahead and get this part squeegeed out and that is moving it around again. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try and hold it in place with this hand. I'm gonna go ahead and take this across this top edge. See if I can get this edge to stick down really good. Oh, okay, let's see here. It's really tight right there. There we go. Just going up, taking that water out of that edge. Okay, great. And then let's go ahead and put our finger on a little bit of pressure. We'll roll this up. And then we'll go ahead and blast this down. Let's get the liner out of there. See, I'm running my hand across here while I pull the liner out, and that's just to keep the film from peeling away off the glass. And then we'll go ahead, and sometimes it's necessary to put a mist on the back of the material, and sometimes it isn't. Um, right now, for me, it's not because we're so slippery. So I'm going to move my metal all the way over there. I'm going to put a little tug this way, and I'm going to get this film to drop into place in there. Nice and uh, flat like that. And then we're just going to tuck this in. Now we did come up off the glass all the way back to about here. So we are going to need to make sure we squeegee out that top over there again. We're going to come across. And it's better, see how that's kind of folded out? It's better if it's folded in. Let's see if we can even get it to do that. Not really, okay. So then we're getting this nice and flat again. We're tucking that into place. Then let's get out majority of the air pockets there. Miss this down. We'll take this tool with the Teflon tape across it and squeegee all this out. I'm gonna go up there behind, or up all the way to the top of the glass basically. Kind of try and get some of that pushed down. Okay, let's go ahead and squeegee all this out. All right, let's get this finger down with that. Go ahead and take these sides down now. Way back in there. Lots of pressure. And take that across. Let's go over to this side now. I'm gonna try and get all the way up there with this squeegee or this um, card. Then we'll take this side down. Okay, I'll dry this off. Set it on the seat there. Let's go ahead and wipe this panel down. Oh, I said we we're gonna use that plastic thing here, didn't I? <laughs> Maybe the, I'll do it on the other side. 
Okay. All right, let's check our work. It's really good. Good. I'm looking up here for air pockets or water pockets. That's all looking really good. Now at the end, we are gonna drop, uh, drop this window down a little bit and double check that edge up there because it did pull off while I was tucking this side in. That's, you know, that's fairly common for these windows on the front to pop up like that. And then you just wanna double check up in underneath. Great, everything looks really good. No con real contamination to, that's noteworthy. Let's see, let me get a little bit more picky. So there's a little dot there I'm gonna have to clean up. And then there's a couple little crinkles right here. I don't know if you can even see that. Can you see those tiny little one, two, three? And that was for where that was kinked up a little bit. That's like nothing though, that's gonna push right down. All right. All right, terrific. So I appreciate you guys taking a look at this video. If you found anything helpful, give a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one.